Yo, what's up guys, it's Matt. Welcome back to a new video in Japan. Today we are in Electric Town in Akihabara. I'm gonna show you the best Japanese building to find figure, figurines and trading cards. The building, just so the building is just behind me in yellow if you can see it. It's called Akihabara Radio Kaikan. Um, I'll show you a picture so you can see it. It's literally five seconds. 10 seconds from uh, Akihabara station, we can't miss it. So the building has 10 floors and each floor has about three to five stores. So it's very, it's huge, it's absolutely huge. Um, and it's for everybody, but especially for people who are only staying in Japan for a couple of days, they don't have time to go to different uh, stores to find cheap figures and, and uh, trading cards. So this is like the best building you can find. It's absolutely massive. So I receive a lot of comments, you know, uh, saying, Matt, please, can you show a bit more of this or a bit more of that? Uh, it's, I want to show you know everything but it's kind of difficult because this building is huge so I won't be able to show everything probably the video will be at least 30 minutes to an hour probably because it's massive um, and yeah just don't forget to like subscribe oh, thank you very much for everybody watching because we're almost 1,000 subscribers now so we can do it and uh, you know comment if you have any questions let's explore the building so first thing when we arrive in the building you can go to the right if you want and then you can find a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards um, but here in the store I cannot film so I'm gonna avoid filming but if you want to take a look you can take a look it's, it's a bit small this one and then you can go you have the escalator right there taking you to the second to the 10th floor and if you go a little bit further in on the first floor you can find a store called hobby station and then um, they have a lot of so, a lot of trading cards uh, pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh, magic cards and others that i do not know i can show you a little bit for example these are in japanese trading cards uh, let me find quickly i think the pokemon are the other side yeah okay so these are some uh, pokemon for example cards uh, let me show you a little bit a bit closer you have a lot of pikachu for example for a bit of let's say a bit less than a dollar to three four dollars and you have been more these are like the new generation g x cards um, these are a little bit more I can show you a little bit and they have uh, I mean in each floor they have trading cards so I'll show you even more and more and more if you want to um, Japanese cards I don't know if you are into the extra plane for example I'll try to zoom in a bit more it's a bit difficult with the reflection of the light uh, you have drill master and drill master drill master drill master I'll show you more here Ta -ta -ta. <coughs> And then here you can go through a lot of cards if you want to. For example, Drill Master, you can look at them. This is about 30 cents. You can browse through them. Okay. These are Pokemon cards. Yeah, you can go through. So these are in Japanese, but sometimes they have in English. You just have to, you know, just look around and, and you'll find some in English. Anyway, I'm not going to show everything, otherwise we can spend hours there. But yeah, you go through, and usually those cards are like 20 cents, maybe even less. 
like usually even even less than that but anyway that's the first door it's a bit small but you will see like upstairs they have uh way way more and then you can look around sometimes they have an uh, english version uh i'll show you that upstairs as well okay and then uh, you can see some of the figurines that they have a figure sorry that they have it's pretty neat pretty cool uh, these are just some samples really cool figures actually and then you have some of the demon slayer uh, extremely popular right now in japan let's go to the second floor okay right away we go to a stop called treasure marketplace or a stop and uh, they have a lot of figures like a lot a lot of them it's crazy actually here are some full metal alchemist figures it's a bit more expensive of course than the book of or hard of but they are new and really really cool uh, you can see they have a bunch of them let's go to one piece these are some of the One Piece. Uh, they don't come with the boxes. Um, and they cost about, well, it's not too bad actually. It's six, seven dollars. Especially right now, it's best to buy because the, the yen is extremely weak. So you can see uh, Zolo, Sanji, the kid, Luffy. Anyway, uh, these are some uh, Naruto figures. Like I said, I won't be able to show everything, guys, because it's enormous, as you can see. And this is just the second floor. Get some uh, Hero Academia and Dragon Ball. It's not too bad, actually. Fourteen dollars? Not, not too, too bad. Uh, a lot more here. I think these are some of the JoJo's. And in this store, I can film, so it's okay. I think it's yeah, it's okay. I can film. Uh, more track and ball. Oh. Sonic is pretty cool. Twenty fifth anniversary. More Luffy. Demon Slayer figurines about yeah, ten bucks. Not too bad actually. Uh, yeah, more, 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 more. It's absolutely huge. Uh, we got a Broly with no... Oh, with box! 1,900, 15 bucks. Also, uh, more Dragon Ball. I really like the Dragon Ball figures here. We got about 20 bucks unopened. The dragon. More here. And more TV. Dragon Ball here as well. Uh, uh, let's see some of the one piece but these are a little bit these are quite cool the one piece here i mean the luffy here is about yeah 60 bucks a bit more expensive uh, so i told you it was huge so these i'm a i'm a big fan of those kind of figurines to be honest they are very neat uh, but they are more expensive, they are 40 bucks, 40, 45 bucks. Uh, Dragon Ball. And uh, one piece again. Cool action. Uh, I'm not going to stay too long in the store, otherwise, we won't be able to see everything. Uh, you have a little bit of American figures here, but I wouldn't recommend this floor. I would recommend the the upper floor, they have uh, just a store dedicated to American uh, figures. Uh, let's see if there are some anime. There we go, you can go here as well. These are kind of cool, really cool ones. Uh, even more. Some cool Naruto, those are really nice looking. Uh, this one is, on the left side is 15, this one is 40. Uh, Jujutsu, 
Kaisen as well for 10 bucks. The most difficult figurines to find actually is um, Death Note. I, I, I don't find, I didn't find a lot of Death Notes here. Dragon Ball. Anyway, okay, let's get out of this hole, otherwise you spend the whole day. Um, and after that you can... Uh, well, there are more stores here that I can show, but... Uh, this one, not so interesting, it's just more about... Uh, pictures and, and um, tags and, and pins about animes. And uh, the figures, the figures are a little bit smaller, as you can see. For example, oh, let me zoom in. A very small one, the like keychains and all that, and uh, small figures. I mean, if you're interested, why not? And also, you have some in the box, but, uh, but I mean, you can buy them. They're a bit expensive. Some of them are like twenty bucks or so. But I think if you're coming to Japan, you should definitely come with a second suitcase completely empty. Anyway, you get some uh, Pokemon Fluffy as well. Okay, you can go to another hobby station. So the same store as the first floor. And here they have trading cars. And you can see they have a, a lot of them as well. I'll show you, especially uh, Magic the Gathering on the second floor. Um, I'm going to show you some here, and they have some in English, as you can see, I wanted to show you, you can see English, 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 so let's take a look, let me zoom in, okay, it's quite carrot. let's take a bunch of them and So these are Yu-Gi-Oh, of course. Vampire Saucer. And you can see they're all in English. So they don't have uh, like thousands of them, but... Oh, maybe they could. Yes. English, English as well. They have more English, but I mean, if you're into Japanese cars as well, it's perfect. And they cost, sorry, they cost about a little bit more expensive than the Japanese one. They cost about, yeah, a bit less than a dollar, 80 cents maybe. Uh, uh, they have a lot of uh, magic cars. Anyway, if you're into magic or Yu-Gi-Oh, this is the place on the second floor. Uh, this one, uh, not so rare. More cards. Yeah, they have a lot. Oh. Here are some yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, shiny one. Anyway, okay. Okay. Uh, so right away in front, when you come, these are like Japanese pins, postcard, and all that. The music is quite loud, so I won't go into the shop. But uh, if you like, uh, I don't know, school idol projects, or if you collect uh, stickers, then this is definitely uh, the store for you. Okay. And uh, here as well, it's called uh, K Books. Uh, men, but uh, for this one, this room, I usually don't. I mean, there's nothing for me personally, so I don't really uh, go there. But I can show you just a little bit, maybe. These are like some of the stickers, for example. Uh, let me find a quieter place. These are like some of the paints and everything. 
Anyway, let's go to the fourth floor. Okay, floor number four. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, these are they have the display one. So these are not for sale, but uh, you're gonna like it. These are really, really, really cool. So this is the one they display. So some uh, Japanese anime figures here as well. Project Diva Arcade. Uh, let me show you some others that are pretty cool. The fighting pose. Oh, this one is very, very nice. Four ones. Uh, I saw the last time uh, they had some that were pretty cool. The uh, oh yeah, here at the bottom with Yu-Gi-Oh, for example. Look at that. These are like really sick. I can't remember this uh, the name of the dragon. One of the legendary. Forgot. Uh, look at this one as well, a DX figure, really cool. Anyway, but those are not for sales, unfortunately. So anyway, let's go back to... Oh, these are for... Uh, so not for sales as well. well really cool uh, Demon Slayer figure, so... Um, so here you have more like yeah, anime figures compared to the other floors. Uh, but they are a bit more expensive. They are about yeah, $30 to, for example, this one is $100. Really good quality, but a bit expensive. Uh, on the other side, you have some, uh, you know, card, pins, posters, and I mean, a bunch of stuff, to be honest. Uh, do you have some paintings as well? Uh, anyway, uh, let's go to this other side where you have a lot of, uh, I think, plastic models. That you can make yourself. Uh, for example, these are some you can make yourself. Uh, you have a bunch of them, like especially the Gundam, the Transformers, and they cost around thirty to hundred dollars. Most of them. I can show an example. Yeah, and these are a lot of you know, robots and all that, but I don't know too much about them, to be honest. Oh, you have a Predator here. Predator robot. Yeah, about 20 bucks. Okay. You have some... Uh, you can see uh, the kind of... Those models you can make yourself a lot of them, and it's basically um, a lot of um, what you can make like tables, chairs, figures, and and so on. You can make your own. They have a little bit of uh, DC ones. Oh, that's quite cheap actually. It's One thousand seven hundred. They are very very cheap. That's like thirteen bucks, twelve bucks. I can zoom in. Okay, finally. Okay. Oh, that's a bargain. That's super cheap. From the new Batman, Catwoman, Batman. There are some other figures. Usually, if you see uh, like big boxes at the entrance, usually they are they sell them at a discount. Maybe they're not selling so much, or or they are just doing a promo. I don't know. Uh, maybe there's some stuff to show you a bit smaller figures that could be interesting as well here. Oh yeah, cars as well. I forgot they have a lot of plastic model cars that you can make. Isuzu 117 coupe. There's nothing behind. But yeah, if you're into uh, cars, this is uh, definitely the place as well. So we're on the fourth floor. Uh, 
because more plastic models and then you have uh, the paint also over here uh, if you need a certain type of you know paint and so on uh, maybe if, yeah, that's an American one so very popular oh, there's so many people here I can show after maybe oh link Zelda this is uh, whoa hundred forty dollars something like that 120 you have the shield as well uh, Astro Boy it's pretty cool you have the Jojo figures uh, these are like 50 bucks easily they are kind of cool though they have 20% discount today 20% off uh, Uh, pre-owned items I will show you the American ones but uh, quite a lot of people there let's go to the other side to see uh, some Pokemon you know fluffies okay let's go to the other side maybe there again okay so this is the one i'm probably gonna buy today uh, plastic model 110 uh, mandalorian with the best car stuff i'm gonna buy that in there 15 percent discount so that was probably 13,000 yen about 100 bucks and now it's about 80 bucks or so so definitely gonna buy that you have some you know spawn uh, yeah, Star Wars Vision, another Boba Fett. Uh, some, so it would look like this the one I would buy. This is the one, yeah. And you can see from the Clone Wars, Anakin Skywalker, Obi Wan Kenobi. Cool, some Spider Man. And here you have a bunch of DC and bigger figurines if you want figures, sorry about 300 bucks the Boba Fett, Anakin Skywalker, uh, Darth Maul and uh, just a bunch of DC and actually not too not too bad I guess they're not so popular yeah, a bit less than 20 bucks like 17, 19, 17, 18 bucks um, with Aquaman, The Flash and all that yeah there's a big promo to be honest because most of them are quite cheap and a bunch of Marvels you can see yeah the Homelander uh, Butcher from the boys. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, you have Baby Yoda again. Grogu. Anyway, this is the fourth floor. Uh, let's go to um, Baby Yoda, Grogu again. This guy is everywhere, literally. Let's go to the fifth. So that's already like 20 minutes of video easily. <laughs> okay, floor number five. You have a kind of a, a K pop BTS store with you know stickers, posters, pins, and all that. But uh, sorry, I'm not gonna go there, otherwise, it's gonna take ages, and I really don't know anything about the idols. But just on the right side of that, you have a store called Robot Robot Plus. And this is a store that is dedicated to American figures uh, and also movie figures. So, for example, you can see this one is completely about Star Wars and they also have some vintage retro stuff. So, for example, this one is $150. Uh, this is uh, from Kenner, the brand. So, it's at least in the 90s, 96, 97, probably something like that, maybe even uh, less. This one 150. I'm not sure from which year, but that would be quite cool. And you have some of the yeah, the older version as well, about 100 bucks. Uh, no, sorry. This one is Mace Window is 100 bucks. The others are about 20, 25, and 
more. Uh, here you can see over twenty dollars. And yes, and then I can show you close. I mean, very quickly the windows you have. For example, you have some Stranger Things right here. Uh, Hulk, Marvel, DC. Uh, Doctor Strange and also you have some older ones for example like the Gremlins 40 bucks uh, more Stranger Things and uh, you have the uh, oh, yeah. Ninja Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, these are about 30 bucks I cannot see the date because the date is really on the back in the back Okay, let's go inside. It's a bit smaller this stall, but um, so okay. you can see a lot of pops already. Uh, they are about 10, 12 bucks. Actually, they are really not that bad. In a kind of browser, they're a bit more expensive. You have some Kiss. Uh, they are about 60 bucks those, and then Marvel Urban Legends. Stickers, stickers. Usually you have to look at the top, especially. The top, they have a, a bunch of cool things. You can see rank on monster figures, probably from the 90s, maybe even 80s, and this is 200, bo 250 bucks. <laughs> Quite expensive. You have a bunch of uh, aliens. A lot of aliens, 50 bucks around. Um, get some older figurines from the teenage I mean, the Ninja Turtles and, uh, and so on. Lex Luthor, about 40 bucks. Uh, most of all, from 2000, if you don't want to bring the boxes and all that. You have plastic, these cost between 5 and 12 dollars and you have a bit of a newer version, these are like from the 2000, 2010 I believe and they are like 5 bucks or so. Here Mandalorian plastic model for only, I mean it's not super great quality to be honest, but it's about 12, 13 bucks and more than here. I mean like I told you, if I would show everything well, We'll never finish the video. This video is going to be for like five hours or so. And then you have uh, some more marvels here, but there are quite a lot of people, so I cannot really pass. And especially at the top, you have to take a look at the top. Oh, really the helmet of the Mandalorian, electronic helmet. It's about 120 bucks. And you have the Grandista, some also Dragon Ball and. Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay, so this is the American store. And right, floor number six, more figures. It's absolutely insane the number of figures that there is here. And for people who love trading cards, there are a lot of cards on the sixth floor. It's absolutely insane. I'm going to show you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you the cards first. You can see, look at that on the table. Here, here, here over there in front on the left side. You can buy uh, some packs as well. And if you look around, these are like some of the Yu Gi Oh! Magic Pokemon. Yu Gi Oh! again. Let's see. Let's take a look. So you can see, for example, paper. So some of them are in English. So you really have to look a little bit longer, but well, this is Japanese. But some of them, the first, second cards, usually, oh, you see in English again. They kind of mix them around, but in English again. But you have like a bunch of them. Uh, I'm very sorry, I cannot show everything, otherwise it's gonna be crazy. But here are more magic, for example, capital offense in English as well. 
Uh, these are like uh, 20 cents, 10 cents, depending on, of course, the value of the card. And you can see it in English as well. I should have done that, where to find, you know, English cards in Japan. And you can see here, this is in English, you have the whole pack for 40 bucks. Damn, I should have done that actually. Maybe I could do that for the, the last video, maybe. Uh, these are oh, yeah, the expensive Yu-Gi-Oh! ones. So about 100 bucks to 500 bucks and so. So you can see, uh, I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit, but this is about 100 bucks. Uh, 400 bucks, but six for well, 60 bucks. I mean, they have a lot of them. Do they have the blue dragon with the, uh, the blue eyes, tree headed dragon? Oh, yeah, they have one. Uh, no, it's not there. Oh, okay, yeah, here it is about 350 bucks. Let's see if there are more cards. Uh, yeah, some Japanese trading cards. And I'm gonna take a look at the Pokemon. Someone is looking already, but yeah. And also for people who are not interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic cards and all that, you can also trade uh, sports cards, like baseball, for example. So they have a bunch of... Uh, you know, Japanese baseball cards here for like about 10 cents, 20 cents. If you're a fan of baseball, they also have football. And some of them are signed as well. And you also have, you also have uh, Japanese adult, uh, you know, performers you can film. So it's pretty cool. Uh, magic, magic, okay. And a little bit more. Yeah, on YouTube, I'm not going to show you the adult one, otherwise i going to get banned. And uh, more trading cards. And you also... Well, I can... Yeah, unfortunately, I cannot show you. I would love to show you, but no. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you have more trading cards, Pokemon Go. Uh, it's crazy. They're just everywhere. This building has everything. Is the guy finished with the Pokemon card? Yes or no? Okay, he's still over there looking. Maybe I can take a look. It's on the Pokemon one. Okay. These are more like... from 2007. Uh, you have some here. Also. For example, you can see also some in English as well. Not a lot, huh? don't get me wrong, but <laughs> if you're looking just for English cards, Volto, for example, it's in English. Usually with the rare ones in the windows, they're usually in Japanese. But you can go through everything. And you have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of them. That's all stuff. Uh, let's go to the other side with the figures if you want I can show you quickly. But yeah, what I wanted to show you as well is that also you can back some packs for example and they are in English as well. So not only the same cards but the packs you can buy them in English. You will have to look and make sure the back says English or cards in English or uh, yeah. Okay, let's go to the other side. Figures. Oh, well, you get some here if you want to see. Uh, really nice. Uh, from the Marvel DC Universe. These are not for sale, but these are samples. Uh, same here, they are really cool from Demon Slayer. And One Piece, for example, Sir Crocodile. These are really, really cool. They take a lot of space, so you need a big suitcase. I think they are around 80 bucks or so. Oh, you 
see you have more cons as well. It's crazy. It's just cons everywhere. Oh, this is a cool Ultraman. Very nice. Yeah, the Tamashi Nations. They have some cool figures. A bit expensive, but... Oh, yeah. This is a cool replica from Demon Slayer. You can see the replica sold. The Nishirin sold. It's huge. Yeah, some Pokemon figures as well if you want to. The One Piece crew. Okay, number seven. Uh, the Azul Ladol Shop Akihabara. So this is more if you like Japanese uh, idols and stuff. Last bullet. I really don't know much about those, to be honest. So yeah, if you're a guy or a girl, if you like those, then you can go there. And we have the SHF Festival. This is also kind of more, uh, this is more like old Japanese anime. So for example, Ultron, Astro Boy, some of the, the old figures from Godzilla. These are like easily 30 to 100 bucks. Uh, with different colors. This is these are like for collectors, pretty much all Japanese figurines for collectors. Ultraman, you can see one of the kaiju, I believe, about 100 bucks. Ultraman and stuff. So, if you are into those, then definitely why you should. I think I have one of the subscribers that love those things. So, I'm gonna show a little bit around. With different colors as well, those are expensive. Like you can see the blue one, about 110 bucks. Yeah, uh, maybe I can show a little bit inside. Uh, they have a lot of one piece figures, so I'm gonna take a look at that. Mm. They got the uh, Tanashi Nations, I guess. These are really cool figures, good quality, about 100 bucks though. So very expensive but anyway i'm not going to show you everything i'm just showing a little bit around to show you a bit the stall quite big as well and uh, let's see the big godzilla figures for those who love that you can see oh, i'm not going to go too close because the music is quite uh, quite loud but anyway you have gabora for about 150 bucks you have more Godzilla figures everywhere with some kaijus and for eight when you arrive these are more for people who love plastic models and love to paint especially to paint not only plastic but I forgot the word in English but uh, for example uh, here there we go like the wall hammers if you like to paint those you can get the figure which is a bit expensive for example like this these are different head horses and then you can paint them whatever the color you feel like same here the zealot miniatures and but this one are like 40 bucks and then you can choose the paint that you want and do them yourself uh, they have a lot of, you know, weapons as well, <laughs> uh, everywhere. Classic. Oh, more of them here that you can paint, which is pretty cool. Uh, here is just a cafe with uh, dolls. So if you're into dolls, you have a lot of them, a lot of dolls everywhere. But I'm not going to show that. Uh, still into painting and you have a lot of robots and the things that you can paint uh, yeah so you just buy them all you paint it uh, there's a cool one dragon ball that I like uh, here right here it's pretty dope and here as well. nice. Thing number nine there's actually a place where you can play tournament and everything of Yu-Gi-Oh especially 
Okay, I cannot film, but I'll just do very quickly up. You can see here, you have tables and can do tournaments here. And they have, again, more cards. And more cards here. It's just everywhere. Anime Cup Battle Spirit, Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic. You can ban tons here. It's, it's so popular in Japan, it's crazy. Uh, you have a big magic card shop and they have a lot of cards as well. Let's go quickly in there. I mean, it's like just literally everywhere. Uh, you have some magic again in front. Some Pokemon GX. I'm sorry if I cannot be really zoom in about a dollar or two. With cute figurines as well. And more magic everywhere. But I mean I cannot show everything, but you can go to this to this shop if you want to. It's called Big Magic. And more cards. So I mean if you're looking for cards, you are in Paradise. And floor number 10, I think it's just, well, there's nothing pretty much, it's just uh, vending machines. You can go to the toilet as well. And of course, each floor has toilet. And I think there's a store over there. I haven't gone there, but I think this is just for packaging and everything. I think yeah, they are just receiving packages, so nothing there. Um, yeah. So, anyway, guys, if you like this video, put a like, subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers. Uh, don't forget to you know comment, ask uh, any questions if you have. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's going to be it's going to be quite long, and I cannot show you everything. I'm very sorry about that. Um, I'll do probably soon a Q and A uh, video uh, for the 1,000 subscribers. So if you have any questions about just not only you know living in Japan, but about my job like modeling or um, you know the life in general, goals and everything, just ask away. Anyway, cheers and see you in the next one.